Hey lovely sexy hobby people, welcome to today's video which is going to be Warhammer Combat Patrol issue number 5. This is our exclusive sculpt uh, for this collection, the Infernus Sergeant. Uh, and we also got six more dice with this as well. So come and join me on the desk and we'll have a look at it. Right, let's have a look at issue 5. Right, more dice. Let's put those aside. One sergeant. Right. Put those aside. Put that aside. Here we go. Right, how to build our Infernus Sergeant. Um, so this is not going to be a push fit mini. This is going to be a glue required. Now, I said, excuse me, I said in the previous video, um, I think with my first delivery we've got the tool kit, so we got the clippers, all the snips, and the mould line remover. We didn't get any glue this time round. Um, I use EMA Plastic Weld, uh, I find it's brilliant. And it allows me a little bit of wiggle room once it's applied to make sure it's in the right position. So I kind of like this pose, stood on top of Dead Tyranid. He's uh, replacing the Promethium flask on his flamer. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good to paint. Um, he'll look good in the green. Now, so this guy, I've obviously got separate shoulder pads for, so I can put some chapter specific shoulder pads on, which I will do. I will do that. Okay, so base coating technique. So once you've put your undercoat on, they're talking about base coating. And how it's done. Uh, how to paint your Infernus Marine Sergeant, step-by-step -step guide. So you're obviously going to be undercoating and then putting the wraith bone on the relevant areas for the Tyranid and then it looks like you're putting Baracnar Burgundy, they're using Baracnar Burgundy for the carapace armour on your um, nids. And then they're going to be talking about going through the update for painting your nids. A bit more detail. And this is what they should look like at the end of that. Hey, um, so apologies for a slight change in audio here. Uh, unfortunately, there was um, something really bad going on with the audio when I recorded. So you've got this. But basically, this section goes on about the Imperial Tithe. And it just illustrates the uh, um, tithe that every person of the Imperium has to give, whether it be in production of materials or food or the um, giving of themselves for the war machine in fighting manpower and that sort of thing and then over the page we have mention of the black ships now the black ships go out searching for psychically attuned people and basically they scoop them up and return them to um either the golden throne so that they can be used to feed the emperor or those that are particularly dangerous are executed on site but others are then issued or, or promoted into the um a telepathica i believe it is where they undergo training and testing to ward them against the evil of the warp Right, Infernus Marine Sergeant, Red Helm. Yeah, he gets a cheeky red helmet. Now, is that a tactical squad marking on his right shoulder pauldron? Looks like it could be, rather than the Devastator squad. So I'm assuming then that these guys are standard troops. So, Finus Marine Sergeant, D6 rolling, 
chart origin and name uh, for a bit of fun. Flames of Purification, play the scenario. Scenario one, Flames of Purification. A lone infirmary marine sergeant has located a key node of Tyranid infestation. He has launched a lightning raid to purge these vital sources of biomass. By any means necessary, he will have to work quickly for even cut off from the main swarm. These infestation sites will defend themselves fiercely with biological weaponry. So we're using our infestation cards that we received with issue three. Um, and our sergeant. Term breakdown, bit of a talk through, walk through sort of thing. And then just this. This is cool. This is a 3D render of that. I mean, it's a 2D picture, but instead of it being a flat view from the top, this is, say, it would be really nice if GW released some decent Tyranid um, scenery, terrain stuff like this. That would be really cool. Dyson modifiers, talking about basics 0, 2, dice rerolls, um, modifiers, and so on. Okay, talking about armor penetration. So if you roll a two on your save, but it's minus two penetration, the save result is zero. Okay, and it just talks you through that. Oh, and we get a different back this time. And then to look forward to, we have issues seven and eight, which is gonna be parts one and two of the uh, termagants. So we get quite a few termagants with this uh, combat patrol. Now, come down. Let's have a look. So we get more of these white dice. Um, I must have so many of these white dice because they come with each collection. Put them aside. Right, 32 more base for our sergeant and he has a sculpt date of 2024. And he looks nice. I like this dead Tyranid that he's standing on. So that is really nice. If you can see that, the detail on that. Other than that, it's bog standard, bog standard marine. Um, again, like I said, I can swap out this shoulder pad for a chapter shoulder pad, which would be nice um, for my Dark Angels. You get a choice of heads. So, He's bare with a mask or fully helmeted. Yeah. And he's got some little trinkets hanging off of his waist belt. I mean, as, as characters go, he's nice. I will obviously enjoy building and painting him. Um, but yeah, we'll I'll fish out obviously a chapter shoulder pad for when we build him in just a sec so come back and we'll do that right then lovelies let's get our exclusive miniature built shall we so we're going to start off with the torso um, and as usual I'm using uh, EMA plastic world as my glue So, torso. Then we're going to come in with the legs. So, the, the left leg is actually clear, uh, keyed really nicely. Like so. And then the right leg uh, actually just locates really well so that you know it's in there okay and that's our basic stance for our marine 
Now, he is meant to be standing on this thing. But obviously we need to ensure that his stance is correct. And there is some kind of keying, which kind of, there's something there. So something just there. So it looks like his foot is going to kind of contact that way round, I think. Anyhow, let's get on to, so in his right arm, he, he is holding the flamer. There's no keying for this. So you are literally just popping that on and making a decision as to its position. But it's going to be something like that. Then the other arm, again, there's no keying. It does suggest that you glue the hand together first. So let's pop a little bit in there and then there is keying on this but it's so small it's not like it's a pin or a tab that they've done like so like it goes on it's just so slight that you you know, once you've got your glue on, you're going to find it really hard to locate. Anyway. I think that's going to, probably going to go on like so. So just try and centre that a bit more. Onto the shoulder like that. And I think that's what we're looking for. It's kind of like the canisters resting just on the top of the thigh. Right, then we're coming on to the shoulder pauldrons. And this is the only difference that I've done because I'm a Dark Angels player. I have swapped out the blank uh, left shoulder pad for a Dark Angels uh, emblem. Right, so here we go. Now, looking at the base, the Tyranid is going to kind of sit like so. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to glue him to the base now. And I think that's quite possibly about where I want him to be. As I say, there is some keying, but it's really slight. So 
So I think that's probably about it. He's slightly overhanging my base, but I don't have a problem with that. So we're just going to do that. So there you go. Now you do get a choice of heads. Uh, I've gone with the helmeted. Now he's, if that's his front, he's kind of looking that way. But I'm actually gonna just, cause the head's poseable, however you want it. So I'm actually just gonna have him looking sort of like over his knee that way so he's looking that way and then last but by no means least is the backpack and because these guys are just basically one color for me i've got no problems putting the backpack on and there you go so there is our exclusive miniature and that's that's it that's him um i like him he's gonna look good uh i am i may very well pick up the paint set the intercept the infernus marine paint set because it's got three marines in um i was very kindly given the store uh, the, the freebie miniature that um, people can build. So I've got the start of a squad here, um, a squad of five. So if I pick up the paint minis, then that would be a full squad for me. Right. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next video. All right. Take care. Bye bye.